Thank you for tuning into this broadcast today. It's so great to come to you today and share the good news. God is so real. He is good to us in, in everything that we do, and we owe all of our lives to Jesus Christ. One of the great scriptures in the Bible is found in John 3, 16, and it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, there was great love that was manifested of Jesus when he went to the cross and gave his life for us. And John describes him as God, as such a great God. He loved the world so much, and he loves you today. He loves you today. Wherever you're at around the world, he loves you today. And it's interesting to see the first thing that the angels introduced to the world when Jesus was born to the shepherds, peace on earth and goodwill toward men. Now we're seeing a lot of unrest all around the world. There's some really some uh, uh, bad activity going on around the world. We're sorry to hear about some of the things that have transpired in Minneapolis. And, and uh, we just really are sad about that event. Uh, but I want to tell you, there's there's a lot of ungodly things that are going on now. It's only a sign of the times. But God so loved the world that he gave us the greatest gift we could ever have. The greatest gift you have today is the revelation that Jesus Christ can live in your life and do something in your life and bless you today and help you in every way that you need because he wants to do great things in your life. You know, just walking around, I see a lot of uh, a lot of uh, people that are living in fear and, and this virus, and there's just a lot of things going on. Just remember God loves you, and he is in control. He gave us the greatest gift, and he gave us his only begotten son. He walked, uh, walked through the people for 32 to 33 years, he preached the gospel, he healed the sick, he raised the dead, he touched lepers, he touched the people that were underprivileged, he did everything to associate uh, and bless the kingdom of God. Father sent him and he sent the greatest gift of all, Jesus Christ himself. And it says in that that we would not perish. And, and God so loved that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him You've got to believe in Jesus Christ today to go to heaven. You can't go to heaven if you don't accept him as your Lord and Savior. You need to repent of your sins and ask him to forgive you. And that's one thing that all of us have to do. We have to kneel before the Lord and cry to God and say, forgive me of my sins. I'm sorry for my sins. It's not just words. You've got to have action behind it too that he gave his only begotten, that whosoever, that means anyone, regardless of color, is going to be able to go to heaven and spend eternity with the Lord. If they've got their name written down in glory, it's something going to step on, stamped on the morals of time. I want to thank you so much because I love you today. And if you need Jesus today, accept him because he wants to do things for you. He gave his only begotten, the whosoever believed in him would not perish. Friend, I want to tell you, there is a literal hell. There's a lot of people saying they don't believe in hell today. One day you're going to realize that that's a fact. If hell is a real place, and I don't want to go there. I don't want anyone to go there. I want to go to heaven. But there, there's more to than just serving God than just uh, shaking hands with a preacher. You've got to have a commitment to God that comes way down in your heart but have everlasting life. How many of you out there want to have everlasting life and be living forever and have a new body? That's what Jesus has promised us, that we'll have a new body. We'll be changed in the moment of a twinkling of an eye, and we'll live in that new Jerusalem. There's going to be a millennial reign of Christ that's going to last for a thousand years, and they, uh, there's going to, the peace is going to be coming during that time in the millennial reign. Jesus is going to reign from Jerusalem. And there's going to be a great time. All the resurrected people are going to live in that new city, uh, Jerusalem, one day. But I'm, I'm so glad that we have a, a, a heritage with God where we can serve him and love him. Everlasting life is one of the greatest blessings of 
of, that God can give to you. He will give you eternal life if you'll just turn to him and believe and receive him today. And it goes on to say in verse 17 that the Lord didn't send, uh, you know, the world. He loves the world. He didn't send the Son to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. That's the message of Jesus Christ today. He wants everyone to be saved that will accept him. Oh, I'll tell you all this criticism says, you know, God's not alive and pay no attention to God, burning churches down. Folks, I want to tell you what one of these days are going to stand before God. I want to stand before God and hear him say, well done. Friend, if you'll pray and ask him to come into your life, he'll do it today. And may God bless you. And I'd love to hear from you. Please comment. And please say things on it. I'd love to see the likes and those things. Thank you very much. God bless.